At a time when much of the West remained undiscovered, one man was commissioned to map America and reveal its many secrets. So, how did Stephen H. Long's discoveries, triumphs, and mistakes set Western migration back decades? At the beginning of the 19th century, the United States was much smaller than it is today. But the purchase of Louisiana from France in 1803 effectively doubled the size of the country. An expedition led by Lewis and Clark had shed light on what lay to the West and kick-started a race to unlock its unexplored potential. Much of that responsibility was given to Stephen Harriman Long, a U.S. Army civil engineer from New Hampshire. Between 1816 and 1823, Long traveled over 25,000 miles and led five expeditions into the West. He took scientific experts with him, and together they discovered many new routes, compiled surveys of the landscapes they encountered, produced detailed maps of the country's uncharted territories, and helped establish parts of the Canadian and Mexican borders. Long even created a language dictionary to aid communication with Native American tribes. His maps were so accurate, they were put to use during the Civil War. The U.S. government used them to expand the rail and road network establish forts, some of which would eventually grow into towns and cities, and encourage pioneers to settle in the West. Long's career spanned 13 presidencies, from James Madison to Abraham Lincoln, but he made one big mistake. When Long first arrived at what we know today as the Great Plains, east of the Rocky Mountains, he named it the Great American Desert and declared the land unfit for farming. Much anticipated migration was stalled as a result inadvertently protecting the plains from early development until two decades later, when the discovery of gold in California unleashed a massive wave of migration west. Why is it important for explorers to map areas accurately? 